Hey everybody, what's up? Chobby Gamer here, and <clears throat> oh boy, do I have a video for you guys! And I'm gonna keep this kind of brief. And if you noticed, I actually am not using an intro or an outro for this video because this is pretty serious. Yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there, so I'm flat out recording it and uploading it. So, yeah, this is pretty urgent, and and a lot more people should be talking about this, which so far my buddy Millennium Shadows talked about this, um, Penguin Zero Z, and um, others have talked about it, Charm X, and many others. Many others out there. The Quartering talked about it. Tipster talked about it. And I'll link you guys to their videos in the description below. So you can check out what they have to say about this. But for me, I'm going to be reading this for all of you. And this might very well destroy the internet as we know it. Because you thought Sopa and Kappa and people were bad? This is worse, and I can't believe I'm saying that. Alright, let's get on with it, shall we? <clears throat> now, this is on the American Prospect website. It says, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, still getting over um, the little cough I have. Tillis pushes prison time for online streamers after pre-election Hollywood cash blitz. All right, let, let, me, let me go on with this, and I'll give you my two cents on it at, when I get to a point where I can. All right. <clears throat> Felony streaming legislation of Senator Tom Tillis will be attached to an upcoming must-pass omnibus, um, omnibus, um, I think that's how I pronounce that, government funding bill. Senator Tom Tillis attends a confirmation hearing for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, October 15th of 2020. Wow. So, so that was an, a picture from a couple months ago. <clears throat> okay, let's do this article now. Okay, someone has it to where you can listen to it, but I will read it from all of you. <clears throat> Sludge produces invest investigative journalism on lobbying and money in politics. The American Prospect is republishing this article. Congress has once again put itself in a situation of having to pass a last-minute omnibus bill to fund the government and prevent a shutdown. These truly are must-pass bills. Much of the government grinds to a halt without them. So they often get you used as vehicles for controversial bills that, they, that can't pass on their own. Senators and representatives work out the backroom deals to attach their pet measures to funding for things like food inspections and airport safety and then dare their colleagues to object. Oh boy, let me continue. <clears throat> this time around... One of the measures being crammed into the omnibus is a proposal from Senator Tom Tillis, R-NC, to turn unauthorized commercial streaming of copyright material like an album on YouTube, a video clip on Twitch, or a song in an Instagram story into a felony offense with, po with a possible prison sentence rather than misdemeanor according to protocol. You heard that right, people. They're going to try to turn game streaming, even if you accidentally have a song that's copyrighted in one of your videos, even a few seconds, you can get you can get a felony for it. Yeah, that's what this idiot wants to push. <coughs> Before I get ahead of myself, let's continue. The text of the measure has not been publicly released yet, but it is expected to be broadly similar past the entertainment industry 
backed attempts to criminalize unauthorized streaming such as the provisions of the SOPA PIPA bills in the 2012 that sparked an unprecedented internet blackout protest on the Commercial Felony Streaming Act. Yeah, I was actually part of that. I remember when that happened and I was one of the ones that was part of the blackout. I remember that very well. Whew. Yeah, it was insane. And that's when I was a new YouTuber. Because I started making content back in 2011. I remember this. Oh boy. <coughs> <coughs> okay, stream me Which has prompted Justin Bieber to say that its sponsors, Senator Amy Klobuchar, D. Min, should be locked up. Wow. Sorry, guys, I had to get a drink there real quick. Oh, oh man, yeah, th this is serious, guys. The SAPA and PIPA bills are nothing compared to what's happening now. Absolutely nothing compared to this. This is serious. I know I'm going to say that a lot, but it's true. It's This is scary stuff. <clears throat> More from Sludge. A felony streaming bill would likely be a chill on expression, said Catherine. Excuse me. Trend Acosta, Associate Director of Policy and Activism with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. We already see that it's hard enough in just civil copyright, excuse me, and the DMCA for people to feel comfortable asserting their rights, the chance of a felony would impact both expression and innovation. And she's not wrong. <coughs> this will completely destroy the internet. Everything. Everything that we worked so hard for. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether it be people like us who talk about video games, card games with the card game music, anime, cartoons and pretty much like music remixes and all that even if you make your remix of like um let's say like super mario brothers overworld theme all those remixes those people can't get hit by this and if you think i'm paranoid no you're reading this right now this is going to happen to all of us every single one. This is terrifying. <clears throat> okay, I'll continue. Oh boy. Tillis, the chairman of the Intellectual Property Subcommittee, was recently re-elected for another six-year term by a margin of less than 2% over his Democratic opponent, in the final stretch of his campaign, Tillis received a surge of campaign contributions from PACs affiliated with entertainment companies and trade groups that lobby Congress for aggressive copyright enforcement against internet users, including prison time for unauthorized streaming. In the third and fourth quarters of 2020, Tillis's campaign and leadership of PAC received donations from PACs affiliated with Motion Picture Association, Sony Pictures, <coughs> sorry, <sighs> ASCAP, Universal Music Group, Comcast, and NBC Universal, the Internet and Television Association, Salem Media Group, Warner Music, and others in the entertainment and cable industry that seek to suppress the unauthorized sharing of content. Many other entertainment industry PACs gave Tillis contributions earlier in the 2019-20 cycle, totaling well over $100,000, according to Federal Election Commission records, executives of Fox Corporation, Sony Entertainment, Charter Communications, and CBS also made large donations to Tillis's in the third quarter of this year. 
I mean Tillis, not Tillis's. <laughs> that is pretty scummy and shady. The fact that he got paid off by these music industries to pretty much shut us down. Anyone who makes any fair videos. Now, <clears throat> now keep in mind, I'm going to say right now. The music industry, the, the music creators have every right to protect their copyright. They have every right to do it. But, it's like they don't believe in fair use. I mean, I'm going to explain more about what I do after I'm done reading this. Because, this is going to affect more than just those who use just a few seconds of a soundtrack. This is going to affect a lot of people. <sighs> okay. Let's go on. <clears throat> and here's an entire thing covering of the donations that he got from all these industries. Look at that. That's that's a lot of industries that paid him off. <clears throat> okay, yeah. And like I said, guys, the link to this article will be in the description below so you can read all that yourselves. The Hollywood entertainment groups have absolutely massive undue influence on copyright law in Congress, said Electronic Frontier Foundation policy analyst Joe Mullen. It's really impossible to understate it. <clears throat> Many of these companies have executives on the board of AstroTurf nonprofit called Creative Future that advocates for felony streaming legislation and other strict copyright measures opposed by internet freedom groups. Creative Future lists hundreds of small studios as coalition members on its website. <sighs> but one would have to consult its 990 filing with uh, 990 filing with the Internal Revenue Service to see who is really directing the group? Creative Futures Board of Directors includes John Rogovin. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but oh well. Executive Vice President and General Counsel of Warner Brothers Entertainment. Lee or Le, Lee Wheel. Center Executive Vice President and General Counsel of Sony Picture Entertainment. And Kimberly Harris. Executive Vice President of Comcast Corporation and General Counsel of NBC Universal, among several other Hollywood executives. Wow. Creative Future, which called Tillis our hero on the hill in the March 2020 interview, is a rebranding of a group called Creative America that was formed in 2011 to advocate for Sopa and Pipa. In other words, they are behind it. <coughs> I think. Creative America's website now redirects to Creative Future's website. Creative Future is listed as a related organization and, a re and recipient. recipient uh, sorry, I can't speak English today. <clears throat> of hundreds of thousands of dollars in financial transfers on the Motion Picture Association's annual 990s. In 2018, Tillis was one of the three centers who benefited from a fundraiser hosted by Motion Picture Association CEO Charles Rivkin and majority and a major Hollywood studios. I was a professional musician for a decade and I don't know of a single working artist who thinks of Tom Tillis as a champion, said Evan Greer, Deputy, De <coughs> Deputy Director of Internet Freedom Group Fight for the Future. He consistently pushes for draconian copyright policies that benefit big corporations, not independent creators, and threaten free expression and human rights in the process. Thank you, Evan Greer. Thank you. Ah, excuse me. That is exactly what this is about. 
this Tom Tillis idiot is pretty much suppressing our human rights. Pretty much is what he's doing to us, guys. This is serious. <coughs> Excuse me. Pushing for more internet censorship and threatening streamers with prison time doesn't benefit artists, but it's exactly what Tillis's corporation donors seem to want, Greer added. The felony streaming measure is part of a package of three bills related to intellectual property rights that are being added to the omnibus omnibus um, according to protocol. <clears throat> Alright, seems like we're almost done here. <clears throat> One of the case act would create a new court within U.S. Copyright Office for expediting copyright claims that critics say could help copyright trolls and giant companies go after ordinary internet users. That's... That's 100% true, guys. That's 100% true. People found to have shared a copyrighted piece of content could be penalized with a fine of up to $30,000 according to the bill tax. Creative Future supports this bill. The third known as the Trademark Modernization Act is supposed to crack down on fraudulent trademark filings from foreign countries. Each of these bills have small cohorts of backers in Congress, but Tillis is an original co-sponsor of the Case Act and the primary sponsor of the Trademarks Bill. Tillis's office did not respond to Sledge's requests for comment. That's pretty much this, guys. This guy is officially worse than Agent Pat. Yeah, Agent Pat, yes. Worse than him. This guy right here is worse than the people who ran Sopa <clears throat> and people. And as it says, they were behind it. So guys, we need to get word out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to get the word out. This is very, very serious. <clears throat> and... Keep in mind, I wanted to keep this as detailed as possible, but also no intro and outro. And also, guys, let me tell you a little bit something about why I do my channel. I talk about video games. I talk about card games. I use the music from the games that I have bought myself. Pretty much, I don't make any money on my channel, and I... Doubt I ever will make money on my channel. I will not profit off of other people's work. And quite frankly, I love talking about video games. Guys, because of this idiot right here, the internet will be destroyed. If this stupid bill passes, it's over for every single one of us. For... <clears throat> commentator channels, video game reviewers, anime reviewers, gameplay videos, game streaming, you know, like video game streaming, art streaming with music that we listen to and love to listen to, video game remixers, so many people are going to be pretty much destroyed and <clears throat> what everyone worries about is that, keep in mind, kids love playing like copyrighted music on their videos for fun. What if these idiots make those children a felon for a few seconds of them singing a song? They would actually do it, they're so scummy. And guys, we gotta stop this. That's why I'm titling this video... Hashtag stop DMCA because the DMCA and copyright trolls are going to abuse this to get anyone that that they don't like sent to prison. Just because, oh, we don't like you. Hey, let's false copyright claim these people. Hey, I have an idea. Let's give you a false DMCA strike. 
that's exactly what's going to happen here, guys. We're going to be taken down because of this idiot right here. Because, oh, well, it should be illegal for you to stream video games and have music in your video, so you have to be a felon. This guy's gone too far, and that's why I did not put music in my video, otherwise I would. Oh. Oh, neat. I got a little of uh, someone like my comment from a video earlier. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Guys, please, spread this video around. Spread the article around. Spread my other friends' videos around. Like I said, the links to the videos of my buddy Millennium Shadow, Tipster, the quartering and and many others i will post as many as i have watched in the description below that way spread these videos around guys please we have to stop this if we don't stand together our freedom as youtubers and streamers pretty much will be destroyed because of this one idiot right here this moron Oh my gosh, I might just title this as an angry rant because this makes me angry and scared. Our rights will be destroyed. We gotta stop this. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Spread this video around. And let's protect our rights as, as pretty much gaming streamers and game players and all that. We have to protect our freedom. Alright. This has been Chava Gamer saying have a wonderful day. And remember, Jesus loves all of you. Take care.